hi guys today we are going to see the lesson plan number 11 from the topic organization of cells and tissues unit organization of life standard 8 mm, so here fill up all the requirement class 8 unit organization of life topic organization of cells and tissues Instructional objectives The pupil acquires the knowledge of different levels of organization in the animal world. Understand the structure and purposes of basic components of prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Describe the organization, function and importance of animal cell. Diagrammatic representation of the animal cell. Specify the size of the animal cell. Explain the tissues of tissues and its functions. Classify the tissues and its types. Instructional resources. Non-working model showing the structure of prokaryote and eukaryote. Blackboard and chalk to draw the diagram of animal cell. Flashcard to depict the basic unit of life. Now we move on to the next topic, previous knowledge. So in the previous knowledge, the teacher asked the following questions to test the prior knowledge of students. What is the basic unit of living organism? What is the characteristic of living and non-living things? Do you know that smallest component work together to make largest and most complex? What do you know about cell theory? How can you differentiate plant and animal cell? How cell organelles work together to keep the cells functioning properly? What is cell organization? Now we move on to the main content declaration of the topic which is organization of cells and tissues. So our content starts like animals vary not only in size but also in cells, tissues, body structure which is called the organization of life. This is the introduction we give. The teacher introduces the concept of organization of life and the student listens to the introduction given by the teacher. Next content. Cell, build, cell is the building block of life. Single celled organism, we give example amoeba. Multi celled organism, we give example animals. Cells make tissues. Tissues together make organs. Organs together make the organ system. And this is called as the organization. So the teacher discusses about the basic unit as cells. The student follows the discussion with the teacher. So here we evaluate by asking the question, what is a cell? Now going on to the structural organization, which can be bifurcated as prokaryotes, which do not have a true nucleus and eukaryotes, which has a well-defined nucleus covered by a membrane. So the teacher briefs about structural organization. The student understands the organization of pro and eukaryotes. We ask how prokaryotes and eukaryotes differ mainly. Now we move on to the next. We, you can just give a diagrammatic representation of the animal cell. And uh, that can be actually one of the content. Label the parts neatly. The teacher draws the prokaryote and eukaryote cells for better understanding. The student redraws them in the notebook. Next, we describe cell structural and functional unit of life cells consist of cytoplasm cells vary in shape and size central nucleus and a variety of cytoplasmic cell organelles like endoplasmic reticulum mitochondria etc are present so the teacher describes the cell and its structure and the student listens to the cell structure how animal cell is organized will be your evaluation part 
Next, the teacher shows the diagram depicting the animal cell and its cell organelles. The student draws the animal cell in their notebook. Draw the animal cell with marking. Next, we draw, describe about their size. Cell size varies from 0.5 to 20 micron. Smallest bacteria is 1 to 2 micrometer. Mycoplasma is 0.0001 millimeter. Human body has the RBC which has seven micro which is seven micrometer in size and it is the smallest cell we have in our body. And nerve cell is measures 90 to 100 centimeter which is the longest in our body and human egg which is ovum measures about 100 micrometer and next we talk about the shape which it will be oval round elongated pointed at both ends it can be in any one of these shape and we just draw the shape all these shapes and give examples like nerve cell, ovum cell, muscle cell, sperm cell, how each of them look like. Draw it neatly and label them. So the teacher specifies about the cell size and shape. The student follows the size and shape of cell structure. Name the different shapes of cells. Next we move on to tissues. Tissues are groups of cells that have similar structure and act together to perform specific function. So, which can be classified as simple tissue and complex tissue. Simple tissue uh, is nothing but the same type of tissues are called as a simple tissue. Complex tissue is made up of different kinds of tissues. So, the teacher states about the tissues and its functions and the student analyzes the tissues and its functions. So, now we move on to our next page. Now we are going to speak about the tissue types. We say they are of four types as epithelial tissues which gives protection, muscular tissue which gives move uh, which is used for movement, nervous tissue which is used for conduction of nerve impulses, connective tissues for binding. So here the teacher is explaining the types of tissues. The students associates the types and its functions. You can evaluate by asking, mention the tissue type and its functions. And next, we move on to recapitulation. Draw the animal cell and mark its cell organelles. Differentiate prokaryotes and eukaryotes. What is a tissue? What are the different types of tissues? Describe the animal cell. Follow up activities. You can uh, give like make a model of animal cell, write the difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes, and many more. You can it can be your own activity, then wind up with your student signature.